so as we previously uh, discussed about the server side classes like glad record class and glad system class there are uh, certain classes which are available for client side as well for client side scripting basically to write the script in client scripts in ui policies okay. so there are so every time when you write the scripting in client side there are different classes and when you write in server side then there are different classes so uh, how you will navigate to the client side classes in developer.servicenow.com so in developer.servicenow.com you will find all the syntaxes as told previously so if you will see here api under that you have to click on client okay okay under that you will find uh, these are the classes related to client okay you won't find much as compared to what you see the this list uh, when you go here and select server side there are a lot of classes at the server side but client side there are limited because client side uh, you always do the form validations and all if you scroll here there are a lot of classes So main and important class is Glide form class, G underscore form. So everything you would like to do on the client side, like setting a field mandatory, doing a validation on a field, highlighting a field, or adding the choice values to a particular field, removing the choice values from a field, okay, get uh, adding a, a error message, to the field getting adding the error message to the form hiding the sections getting the table name all the things you will be doing using the glide form class so the sort form in script we write as g underscore form so g underscore form is the sort form or global object for glide form class so when you write a script in client side scripting like uh, your client script or ui policy you always write like g underscore form dot all those things so these this is the class and these are the methods of this class like add decoration so this particular function allows you to add the decoration to the field then if you want to add the error message to field like user has put something and you want to display a message like this is a wrong value or this is an error then you can use add error message then add info message to add the message on the top of the form like if this function is also available in server side so but that class is glide system gs dot we write gs dot add info message but when we need to so a message through client side we have to write it as g underscore form dot add info message getting the difference mm, yes okay so basically when you write something on client side you are you will be using for like info message and logs and uh, other things you you may use gs glide system class and further for record query delete update you will use glide record but if you want to see so the messages do something then you will be using g underscore form class okay now if i come here mainly a client side scripting is done in client script but sometimes same script we can do in uh, ui policies as well so if i go to configure and then you can go to client scripts
let's say you need to uh, put some validation here like every, if user if caller is not means that may not be the real time scenario like if caller is not able tutor then show the error message to the user for this particular field so how this this may be real time requirement could be different but uh, how you can do that so for that as this is on the form level so you have to write the client script so now if i will go to this client scripts now similar to what we are doing like in business rules like name of the business rule similarly name of the client script you can give any meaningful name here then uh, you need to select the table so by default the table is selected here as by default table is selected here as incident okay then ui type is something in client script comes in the picture like you want to run on this ui or uh, i told you the service portal thing right so there are two different ui service portal and this backend ui which we are seeing right now so on which this is called as the desktop ui mobile slash service portal this particular code will run only when you will open this form through service portal all means both ui it will cover this particular script will cover both the ui so here you can give the name like then type man is the type so when actually exactly your script is going to run so on cell edit is basically this is the only type of client script which runs on the list view of particular record so you understand list and form right form is the yeah. when you open a particular record list is a collection of multiple records so this particular mm -hmm. script type of script only runs when you are on the list view <coughs> apart from that all three runs on uh, form so on change is something when you change something on the form so basically it runs on on change of a uh, field of a form so here if we talk about when user selects uh, a caller and if caller is not able to tutor then it should display a message so what type of event it would be it would be a change event right every time when you will change something then the script should run okay then your yeah. on load script basically if you want something to be happen to this form before it is presented to the user so let's say you loaded form loaded the form and your requirement is these start date and date should be mandatory okay so this particular thing should run on load because before it is presented to the user these th fields should be mandatory so when it will be presented to the user when it will be loaded so at the time of load only this type of script you will write if you need to make it mandatory you need to do any other thing like which is presented to the user when form is uh, loaded so the on, in those cases you can write on load client script on submit is something when you are basically submitting this particular form so you want like if user doesn't have uh, filled the sort description then you don't allow user to submit so that kind of script you will write in on submit so for this case here i will select on change then when you will select on change system will ask you the field name because on change will run on particular event and event is change of field so i will say change of caller so now this script will run as and when someone will change the caller field on a ticket now what i am saying if 
here when you select on change you will get these few object so main and important is old value new value is loading okay so old value is something will give you the whatever previous value selected in this particular field new value is what now user has selected and then is loading is something which gives basically uh, whether the form is loading or not so one more thing is with on change client script like on change client script can run on on change and on load as well so basically this particular script runs on both uh, time but that thing you can control whether it should run on on load or not so this is loading function is there so this particular function gives you true false if the form is loading then it will give you the true if the form is not loading then it will give you the false so here if you see by default system what service now has done it is saying if is loading means if form is loading then return return means doesn't run the code below this line number 4 if you want to run this okay. script you have to remove this now this particular whatever code here you will write it will run on on load as well it will run on on change event plus on load as well so there are certain scenario where you need to run the your script on form load plus on change as well so let me give you an example of that situation so let's say you selected the caller okay and okay. when you select the caller let's say he, there is a email field this email field should got populated mm -hmm. okay now let's say your uh, this is working right now right now let's say <coughs> by default mm -hmm. uh, there is a default value okay if there is a default value then when the default value will get populated when the user will uh, the form will be presented to the user so <clears throat> at the same time if the form is already presented to the user and the caller is auto populated then this email should all, also auto populated when the form is presented to the user if the default value is already selected then in that case to populate this when the form is presented to the user this script should run on on load as well got it where is this loading loading part is coming i didn't get that <clears throat> okay let me
see this is a new form right this incident is not yet mm -hmm. uh, submitted so if i will load this if you see what is happening by default caller is getting auto populate as able tutor right mm -hmm. but do you see this email field getting auto populated no so that is the issue so that means i now if i will change now if i will change the caller system admin let's say see email is getting auto populated right yes but when i load there is a default caller is coming as able tutor but email is not mm, coming yes. that is wrong feature right mm -hmm. because one of the requirement was as whatever the caller is selected the email id of that should get auto populate now caller is a, by default yes. selected as able tutor but email is not coming that means your code is not running on on load okay okay yeah. in those cases these kind of requirement that is loading thing you have to remove so by default here is loading was coming right so this thing you have to remove your script is like this so when system detects okay this is part of form load it returns it doesn't run the code below line 4 so if you want to run your code on on load as well like we seen in the example you have to remove this is loading part Clear? if we want that it should run on on load then we have to remove this yes okay i thought uh, if we want then we have to use this no this if you see if it will be loading then it will return if you want to yeah. run it on the okay. load then you have to remove it from here okay okay <clears throat> sorry so here if we come now so if i am saying if the new value will give me the new value of which thing new value of caller so if i am saying new value is not equal to able tutor so what i am saying if the user which is selected as a new user is not able tutor then i am saying like display a message to the user so okay. let me say now if i will select this so in case of client script every time you make any change to client script you have to reload the form sorry it didn't get your so every time if now i have written this particular script and now if i want to test my script i have to reload the form without reloading that latest changes will not mm -hmm. take effect on the uh, form okay so now if i will select the system admin which is not able to tutor see i am getting a message this is an error so these are the client side uh, methods like now if you want to add the let's say choices to particular field so let's say these there are certain choices available to this inquiry but you want a, if your requirement is like if the user is able tutor then there is one more choice get added so that thing you have to do it through the client mm -hmm. script so 
what I am saying if on change if user is able tutor if not then this and now I am saying equal to equal to level tutor then I need to add a choice so then you have a <coughs> option called add option Uh, you can take this so g underscore form is the class then add option is your method name then here you have to put the name of field so I am adding this choice to category category and then you have to give the value value of the choice so when you create a choice there is two things value and the label so if i am saying six really low whatever you can add and now if i will save and if i will reload one more choice will get added if you see here now <clears throat> sorry why this choice get loaded on load because my script is running as on load as well now if i will change the color here this choice should go away if color is not able to enter. so if i select system admin I now I have added after addition I didn't load it uh, loaded the form so now I have to return the else part as well if user is not able to tutor then I have to remove the option so in that case you can use remove option So I'm saying if user is able to tutor, then add the category. Else means if user is not able to tutor, then remove the that category. So if I will reload this form. So now, right now user is selected is able to tutor. If I go to category, this extra choice is added. But now if I change the user, and if I go to this list, the, the choice is removed. So this script is working when the form is, uh, uh, when the form is loading then only. We're not change, okay. Uh, this is running on both yeah. because I have removed is loading from here if I will put is loading here then on it will stop working on on load now if I will save and now if I will reload ideally by default when you reload able tutor will get populated right now when able tutor will yeah. get populated then this there should be an extra choice added so now let me reload it yeah now caller is able tutor and my script says if the caller is able yeah. tutor then there is a one more extra choice but do you see any extra choice 
no right because i have stopped my skip no. to run on on load now if i will change the user system admin and now if i will select, no. i have hello yeah hello. your voice is breaking i did not get what you said so i said like on load it there was no choice right because i stopped my skip to run mm -hmm. on on load now i have made the able tutor as blank and now again i am selecting able. so right now i have made this field blank now again i will select able tutor okay now if i go here this is added because it is only running on on change in first go it wasn't populated okay. because i stopped it for running on on load so that is mm -hmm. how you can write uh, like control your script whether it should run on on load or on change if you have requirement like your script should always run on on load then you can write on load type of client script but your requirement is your script should run on on load plus on change both then you can write on change type of client script on change okay apart from there are like simple simple these functions like if you want to set the field mandatory then you can ma make use of set mandatory so always g underscore form dot set mandatory then if you want to set the field read only on form then you can use set read only so g underscore form is the syntax then you can use read on set read only so system even gives you the hint you can refer the developer.servicenow.com for the functions also if you will type here g underscore form and then dot system gives you all the functions available for this class like if you want to add you need not to type everything once you need to you will type g underscore mm -hmm. form dot it will give you the hint like what all functions are available for this class like if you want to add error message, then you can just click, it will automatically available. And then you can put your message here. Okay. Similarly, if you will type, uh, means basically whatever functions you want, you want to add the choice. Once you will type g underscore form dot, it will give you the option here. If you scroll down, add option, so add option is here. If you want to remove, then here you will get remove option. Right? Remove option. If you want to set it uh, mandatory, then read only. Then if you want to set some value, get some value. So all these functions are available. You can make use using g underscore form class. And this class is only available on client side. Okay. Any doubt? 